I don't know if you can hear that, but that is a bunch of birds right now. It just sounds amazing. I hope you've been good. I hope things have been all right. I hope you've been productive. I want to be honest with you for a second, because this is something that's been on my mind recently, and I've never really been honest about it. The reason I... The real reason why I actually dropped out of college, and it was because of loneliness. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. I made up a lot of excuses why I was dropping out of college. I got to... I, I think is I did my A-levels. I just, like, left, like, midway, so I got some of them. <laughs> But uh, I made up a lot of excuses why I wanted to drop out, even I want to learn Japanese and go off to Japan and work there for the rest of my life. Which I actually then did go do, not the living, but I, I went and studied. I bought a bunch of textbooks and I learned for like a year. What does she watch on this? Haha. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't actually the real reason why I wanted to leave and why I did leave. It's because of loneliness. I had a friend group there who used to be it was the same friend group growing up throughout the whole of secondary school and then we went to the same college but i uh I split away we split apart like most friendship groups do i was stopped being included in all the outings that we used to do parties and stuff i was still with them in school but that's just because i was there i wasn't really with them and uh, I felt alone, really alone whenever they talk about things they do and stuff because I used to be in that group and do all that with them. So I left. I dropped out. I still have respect for one of those guys who are from that friendship group because he actually came back and apologized. Um, which takes a lot of balls and I have a huge amount of respect for him. But uh, when I was left college, I was still alone. Nothing had really changed. I went into a work-life balance but I just kind of left. I kind of went and said, fuck you all, and just kind of dipped. But I uh, I was still alone, and whilst being alone for almost like two years, I realized that there were other roots in life, not just uni. And this is when I stumbled across self-improvement. There are a lot, a lot of roots in life. You can go to the work-life band, you can focus on yourself and self-improvement and become a monk, or you can go into an apprenticeship or go to uni. But I started to really think why I wanted to go to uni in the first place. And I realized I came across the degenerate reason and the purposeful reason. And I was in the, the degenerate group. I wanted to go to uni because all my friends were going. It was the only thing I kind of thought I could do. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I knew that, that the nightlife would be great. That was the only reason. It's not a good reason just to go there to get hammered drunk and just get away from family. That's not a good reason to go to uni. The reason for uni is to actually pursue your passion in something that you want to do for a living. So you have the purposeful reason of going to uni. And for example, one of my sisters, I'm not going to say her name obviously, but my sister, she knew she wanted to make a difference in the world. She wanted to become a lawyer and help people. And she did. She went through law school. She went to uni. After 12 years, she's now a lawyer. She's a young lawyer who has a husband and her own place now, and she's doing really well for herself. That's the purposeful reason to going to uni, and I wasn't part of that. But it wasn't just me, there was 90% of the people I knew in college weren't part of that group. They were part of the, 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 the degenerate group. And the thing is, whilst being alone, figuring out myself and, and on self-improvement, I eventually wasn't alone. I met other people on that path. And that's the biggest important thing about this. Whatever path you choose, you will meet other people on that path. Now, depending what path you choose will depend on the people that you meet. I met other people who were like me, who wanted to improve themselves and to become the best version of themselves. So where they're living a fulfilling life. If I had stayed and gone to uni to go to that nightlife and that degenerate life, I would have met other people like that. I'm glad I dropped out of college. I didn't drop out for a good reason. But I'm glad I ended up where I am, because I have met people now, and I'm not lonely anymore. Maybe that's something you're struggling with right now. But by focusing on yourself and whatever path you choose, you will meet other people like that. It just depends what path you want to choose. Whatever path you choose will lead to people and will lead to your purpose. If this video helped you out, click on the one in the corner, because this could most definitely help you out as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? The birds are going to join in as well. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah. Yeah, they didn't join in.